Alright guys, so here's the long-awaited RC Empower 2308 motor. This is the GTS 2308-2150KV. And I'm saying long-awaited because uh, I tested the GTS 2305 uh, motors, a uh, couple of KVs. I tested them a while back, uh, some time ago. And uh, at that time, RC Power mentioned that they were developing uh, 2307, 2308, uh, some just some different sizes. And that was a long time ago. And you know, I just kept waiting, kept waiting, and um, they uh, they never were coming out. And f finally, they came out, and and then they finally got them to me. Uh, and the reason I'm saying long awaited is because uh, at that time, the 2305 motor perform spectacularly. I mean the, the motor was really strong and I wasn't expecting that much from it because of the height of the stator, it's only 5 millimeters. and at that time the 2306s had come out uh, so I thought you know the taller stator would would have a, a, an advantage but in as a matter of fact the 2305 from, G, uh, from RCN Power did quite well actually. In some cases I think it was even more powerful than the 2306s that were coming out at that time. Uh, although the amps were slightly higher on the thrust stand but you know once you're flying uh, those would be a lot less. So it was actually a very very good motor uh, from RC in power. But anyway uh, uh, these are the new uh, sizes from the same series, the GTS series. Uh, very, very well, mo well made motors. So let's uh, let's take a look at them. So they come in the usual um, RC and power box. They've been using this box for uh, quite some time, and uh, pretty well packaged. Uh, they 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 use this uh, dense foam. And so they come in this box and they, you know, pretty minimal stuff. They just give you some screws. These are, looks like uh, for 3 millimeter frames that are kind of outdated. So not much use to use the screws. And they give you some length of wire uh, for your ESCs. Uh, doesn't look like it's quite a lot. It's only about 200 millimeters. So, you know, you'll have to get more wire if you want to mount it to the 4-in-1 ESC. And they do give you a, a low-profile nylock, so that's good. And the motor itself. So, uh, as you can see, this is the type of motor that they're using tabs. The wires are not attached. Uh, I don't mind them. I kind of like this uh, uh, this idea. So, so it works. It, it's it works pretty well. I, I haven't heard of anybody having any issues with these. You just have to solder it right there. And uh, as I mentioned before, the one advantage this gives you is that uh, it does provide some. Uh, they use the PCB uh, uh, where the you know where you solder the wires they use that PCB as a shield uh, between the uh, where the mount screws go and and the stator the windings so you know when you when you're mounting the motors uh, if your screws are too long you'll hit that PCB so you have to you know you'll feel it so you know make sure you don't tighten it too much because you may end up cracking the PCB too, but it'll shield it from hitting. But at the same time, you you know you you want to be careful about it. So, so you'll feel some resistance, and then you'll know you know that you've hit it. So you'll know that it's time to use a shorter screw. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, uh, same as the previous GTS uh, motors I I reviewed, uh, I'll show the link there. Um, uh, they they still using the same hardened um, shaft. This is hardened steel, and it's hollow all the way through. As you can see, it's hollow all the way through, and kind of interesting. It's hollow, but they left the they left it solid right there. Uh, just this little portion, and uh, they're using a C clip 
right here, a circlip, uh, to retain the shaft. So kind of interesting, but it, it is it is all hollow all the way through. So that's good. The shaft is, uh, of course, a single piece, and uh, it's it is four millimeters. So four millimeter shaft, and the bearings are the standard four by nine by four. And uh, these do come in CW and CCW rotation. Now you can see the arrows there pointing on the rotation of that the motor should should have. Uh, so these have no wires. So we'll weigh them with uh, 150 millimeters worth of wire. So to get an equivalent weight as the other motors. With that wire is. 39.4 and with the 50 millimeters worth of wire is 40.6 so it's around 40.6 with the standard 50 millimeters or 39.4 without any without any wire so not not that bad it's a 8 millimeter um, stator, 8mm tall stator, so actually motors will gain more weight uh, from taller stator than from wider stator because uh, you know you have to increase the the height of the magnet and actually a lot of the uh, iron you know the on the stator itself the stator laminations that's where a lot of weight is and also copper so it's three things that increase quite a, quite a lot so okay let's uh, let's take this apart and let's check uh, what's inside all right so once uh, we take out the circlip then we can uh, take apart the bell and here's the uh, stator as you can see uh, very nice windings a single strand wire on this motor and uh, this is actually pretty typical RC and power uh, craftsmanship. Uh, they really make uh, motors quite uh, well, very well constructed, as you can see. And the stator is stator height is actually just a little bit, like a fraction of a millimeter uh, taller. It's like 8.2 or something like that. It's just a little bit taller. But, you know, it's pretty much 8 millimeters. And uh, those are... Uh, those are 4 by 9 by 4 bearings. That one came off uh, when I pulled the motor. The shaft actually has really tight tolerances on the bearing, so if it's really tight, it's, it feels in quite tight. You have to really pull on it to uh, to get it out. And there's the magnets. Uh, as you can see, they are arc magnets, and uh, they are using uh, veins on the on the bell right there. So that's to, uh, it's actually some kind of active cooling uh, design there. So those are, I assume they're designed to move air through the stator and and keep uh, the temps down. So that's, that's pretty good. They incorporated that feature. And there you can see you can more or less see the PCV so pretty cool you still have to make sure that you don't uh, hit the PCV with the with the screws you know because if you if, I guess if you do it too many times you may end up scratching the PCV and eventually make contact with the VS on the PCB and uh, the base is aluminum, but it, it'll conduct uh, electricity. So, so if you do that on two of the screws, uh, you might get a short. But you know that's 
Uh, that's just worst case scenario. But you know, it's something to keep in mind. Uh, if you feel that it, you know, some resistance, I would, you know, I would stop and get get shorter screws or use some washers or you know like file down the screws and you know that goes for any motor not just this one uh, what else it's got this texture base for the propeller so that it grabs the propeller quite well it actually works really well and no texture on the uh, on the nylock so that's good this is best if it's smooth and the shaft as I mentioned is it's fully hollow except for this little portion here but it's hollow all the way through up to right about there so very well constructed motor so let's put it back together and let's get it on the thrust stand. Alright, so here we have the thrust test results for the RC Empower GTS 2308-2150KV. The motor measure at uh, 2135 kV, so pretty close to the spec kV. I went ahead and tested on 3S, 4S and 5S with the usual props uh, mostly. So I started with the 5043x3, uh, though this prop might be perhaps a little bit little for this motor this motor really needs to be loaded more so it's only making 1346 but uh, at a very efficient 32 amps on my on my thrust then so that's that's pretty efficient for this prop of course uh, because of the low kv as we load the motor with uh, more aggressive props the 5040 by 4 uh, 1400 grams at 34 
amps so still pretty efficient and for 5 inch uh, these two props you know these really load the motor a bit more on 4s 1500 uh, grams for the 5046 by 3 at uh, still very reasonable 37 amps then on 5s i tested these uh, 5045 by 3 it's the same as the dal 5045 by 3 v2 on 5s you can see it this one really gets going at uh, 2088 grams at a still very reasonable amps uh, 50 amps uh, keep in mind you know these these amps are high because uh, this is static thrust uh, i'm measuring max amps so that's that's burst you know that's only for a split second in the air of course uh, the amps are going to be a lot lower uh, usually 35 to up to 40 percent lower depending on weight of your copter uh, so don't let these uh, high amps scare you you know these are kind of uh, exaggerated so so keep that in mind you know that, that's just how my setup reads six inch props making quite a lot of thrust on 4s 1800 grams uh, still the amps are very low if you compare these amps with the other motors i've tested you know the 2306 2507 2407 these uh, taller uh, stator motors actually uh, using uh, fewer amps to to get that same thrust. Uh, the 6040, it's another good prop, 1800 grams. It's kind of interesting. Another thing I'm noticing here is that uh, these props, uh, the 6045 and the 6040, usually on the other motors, they'll be the other way around, meaning that the 6040 will make more thrust usually than the 6045. But this motor has so much torque that it's able to spin the 6045 uh, faster. Uh, so that's why this one's making more. It could also be because the KV is a little bit lower. So the, the KV is the limit at this point with these props. That's telling me the KV could be still a little bit higher and, and the motor will still not be stressed at all. Uh, so on 5S, I tested the 6040 and uh, getting quite a lot of uh, thrust right there to, to 2300 grams uh, then we move on to the uh, six inch tri-blade this one i tested on 3s 4s and 5s you can see the results here two and a half kilograms on 5s pretty pretty high pretty outstanding thrust the 7045 i tested on 4s 2287 and on 3s uh, 1600 grams so as you can see this motor is quite versatile i mean you can pretty much throw any prop at it anywhere from 3s to uh, 5s and 6s even 6s i mean this motor will handle 6s no problem uh, with some of these props i just didn't test it on 6s on my thrust stand because at 5s i'm already uh, reaching the uh, the limits of my esc and the uh, the current sensor on the thrust stand and I don't want to I don't want to fry my electronics so that's why I didn't test it on 6s also my power supply I don't think it's going to be able to to supply that much juice on 6s so quite a powerful motor and pretty versatile motor you can pretty much use 3s through 5s voltage and 5 inch through 7 inch uh, props perhaps even 8 inch so lots of uh, possibilities with this motor it's, uh, the motor is a little bit heavy so this this most most likely aim at the six and seven inch build so pretty interesting uh, like to see uh, how this motor is going to be used all right so those were the thrust tests and overview of this motor uh, hope you find the data interesting and useful and thank you for watching all right until the next video